How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to do a fitness demonstration. Vaccination is and has been a very effective way to help control and eradicate several deadly diseases. That being said, arm soreness that you will likely experience post-vaccination is not so pleasant. Studies looking at muscle activation with EMG have shown that the best way to recover faster and reduce arm soreness involves getting the affected muscles moving ASAP. But what specific exercise exercises should you be doing. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a quick routine specifically designed to speed up post-vaccination soreness recovery from a scientific perspective. Before we get into the routine, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on new videos. And if at any point you feel pain, discomfort, dizziness, or any other unusual symptoms, stop the routine immediately and consult a medical professional. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. Begin with some forward scoops. Cup your hand, reach back as far as possible, grab a handful of air, and drive the wrist forward and down with each repetition. This is key to getting more blood flowing throughout the entire shoulder and upper limb. Perform 15 repetitions, and then change gears and perform backward scoop. You may notice that one direction is a little more stiff or awkward than the other. This is pretty common and may require a little more attention on the weaker direction. Don't be afraid to throw in a few more repetitions if you feel the need to balance things out. Once you've completed 15 repetitions on each side, perform 12 to 15 double forward swings. Keeping your elbows slightly bent, drive them back and forward. You should feel a brief stretch in the chest and anterior shoulder each time you bring the elbows back. Think about quick, purposeful movement during each repetition, but don't force things. We are still just getting started. Next up, we've got Big U. Reach up to the top corner and in a sweeping U-shaped pattern demonstrated here, finish with a satisfying fist pump. This move reminds me of Mario when he's about to hit a question block without the jump. Make sure to go through the entire range of motion in a controlled and deliberate fashion for 10 to 12 repetitions. Swimmer hugs are next. Channel your inner Michael Phelps by bending over at the hips, bringing your arms back as far as possible, propelling them forward, and giving yourself a big hug. This should give you a great stretch of the anterior chest and shoulder while at the same time firing up those posterior deltoid muscle fibers. After 10 to 12 repetitions, make your way to the ground. Next, we're going to thread the needle for 30 seconds. From a four-point stance, take one arm and feed it under and through your opposite arm while keeping both shoulders as close to the ground as possible. This stretch not only opens up the shoulder, but also helps mobilize the spinal column. A fantastic mobility drill to not only speed up your post-vaccination recovery, but also help relieve both chronic shoulder and back pain when you perform this consistently and properly. Once you've held this for 30 seconds, perform the arm wrestle drill. Lie onto your side, make a 90 degree bend with your elbow, and try to bring your hand as close to the ground as possible. Push down until the stretch is approximately a 6 out of 10 on the discomfort scale. Repeat this movement for 8 to 12 repetitions. Next, roll onto your back and perform the quarter snow angel. Try to keep your arms straight, palm of your hand upwards, and wrist as close to the ground as possible. Focus on slow, controlled range of motion and deep breathing. Feel that deltoid muscle and surrounding connective tissue loosen up. Perform 8 to 12 repetitions and then transition back to your hands and knees for our final drill, the modified child's pose. Traditionally, this is done with your arms in front of you, but for today, try moving both hands to the opposite side of where the injection took place. This adjustment does a better job isolating the affected shoulder muscles compared to traditional child's pose. Keep breathing and hold for approximately 30 seconds. Congratulations, you've made it through the entire routine. If your arm is still a bit sore upon completion, I recommend going through it again. It will be much easier the second time through and your arm will be even less stiff than after after just one cycle. If you have suggestions for future routines you'd like me to guide you through, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and stay strong.